You are back with comedian David Boyle And I'm quitting alcohol But I'm at Melbourne Airport Waiting on waiting on my flight to New Zealand And I'm probably going to miss it Because I just ordered Burger King And there's about 4,000 people in front of me And I refuse to get on that flight Without my fucking Whopper with cheese There's a lot of Chinese people here There is a lot of Chinese people here I tell you what an elderly Chinese woman is not interested in a fucking line. They are not interested in lining up at all. They will cut the fuck in on any line. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long. They will dumb their way up to the front. And I respect it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This information is for Virgin Australia guests travelling to Auckland on flight VA169. It has been necessary to place a gate change to your service and your new gate of departure is now gate number two. That was for guests travelling to Auckland on flight VA169. Your new gate of departure is gate number two. Thank you. I don't know if you heard that, but that's my gate. Gate change and flight change. Anyway, where was I? I respect it. I respect Asian old ladies not following the conventions of civilised society. I respect it. Just get, get to the front of the line. But the thing is... Do it to other people, not fucking me. Because I'm going to say something to you, you old cunt. And you may not be able to speak English, but but I'm going to speak to you in a way that you're going to understand what I'm saying. You're going to understand that I'm not happy with the line cut. There's a lot of people at this airport I've seen so far that I probably wouldn't give passports to. There's a few people on my flight that look like they should never have been allowed into an airport let alone issued a passport. If I was in charge, the passport system would be issued quite differently. It would be judged solely on your head. There would be a photo at customs of an average human being. No one special, just average. Just a steady five, a little bit above average. We'll go a steady 5.5 out of 10. There would be a picture of a 5.5 person out of 10 at customs... And if you're not better looking than that person, you're not allowed in. No country wants you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do. Oh, but I'm a scientist. I'm a scientist. I need to go. Nah, we're not interested, mate. I would just rather have shitty science. You know what I mean? Instead of ugly, good science. It's just how I feel. I didn't pay for check-in luggage, so I've just got carry-on. It's meant to be 7 kilos. I managed to get 11 kilos. Do you know how? You wear a thick jacket. That's what you do. Wear a thick jacket. Then you go to the news agency and you buy a newspaper and ask for a plastic bag. Then put everything you can into that plastic bag. Just walk it through. Then wear a thick jacket and stuff your pockets. You can carry about three kilos... I can't tell if that's getting picked up. Let me finish this goddamn fucking podcast, your fucking announcements. <laughs> Fuck, it's funny. These announcements are starting to get fucking a little bit too frequent. Um, it's pretty funny listening to these fucking announcements because it's always some Chinese lady that's late for a flight because she's busy fucking cutting in line somewhere and the Australian announcer over the loudspeaker has to try and pronounce their Chinese names and there's a lot of fucking stuttering. It's like Z J Z <laughs> Could you please come to the gate? Uh, She did all right. Yeah, so the lady reads out like, Jesus, uh, 
fucking four X's in a row and a Z. And she does her best. She stutters through it. And that sounds nothing like the Chinese pronunciation of the fucking name anyway. So even if Miss Zhu Zhu Xing was cruising past, there's no way she would hear the pronunciation of her name and go, oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. That lady from Shepparton really fucking nailed ancient Mandarin. Uh, this one has been scattered as fuck. There's been announcements every two seconds. And where the fuck is my Burger King? Where the fuck is my Burger King? There is still no action on my Burger King. Maybe I shouldn't have walked off. I got two into this fucking podcast. And now they've probably handed my fucking Burger King to some Asian lady. Pretending it's hers. Fuck. They annoy me so much, but I gotta respect it. I have to respect the hustle of old Asian ladies just throwing society's conventions out the fucking window. But if you're in front of me, you're definitely going to understand a few of the words I'm yelling in English. You're going to get my point. Anyway, this one has been fucking scattered. It's at the airport. There's too much going on. It's too much happening. All right. All right, that's it for tonight. I need to check where my fucking Burger King is. And I'll speak to you tomorrow for Fucked Up Friday. Send in your stories if you got any. Send them through. All right. Fucking see you later.